Within the complexity of nature, there are two opposing forces that converge with the captivating diversity of life, vitality and poison. Vitality is the fundamental rule of nature. Life is an adventure that unfolds with all its details through biological and chemical processes. However, within this adventure, there are sometimes poisons produced by nature itself or arising from human intervention. At this point, toxicology comes into play as a branch of science that examines the consequences of organisms being exposed to toxic substances. Throughout history, the contrast between vitality and poison has both fascinated and worried people. Besides the beauty inherent in nature, the mysterious and potentially dangerous effects of toxins have left people curious. This is where the importance of toxicology emerges. Toxicology is the scientific study of the harmful effects of chemical, biological, or physical substances on organisms. These effects are often related to health problems such as diseases, deaths, or genetic changes caused by toxic or poisonous substances. Toxicology is a multidisciplinary science that combines various disciplines to understand processes such as the entry, distribution, metabolism, and elimination of such substances in the body. The fundamental concept underlying toxicology is understanding the effects of poisons on organisms. These effects are often associated with diseases, genetic changes, or deaths. Toxicologists endeavor to unravel the mysteries of which substances are poisonous and how they exert their effects. This discipline begins by examining the complex relationship between dosage and response. Understanding the link between the dose of a substance administered to the body and the resulting effect guides toxicologists in determining what level of exposure is safe. The classification of toxic substances involves the process of determining whether substances are toxic or non-toxic. This is an important concept for many substances encountered in our daily lives and plays a significant role in public health. Toxicologists analyze biological samples to identify traces of poison in the body. This process involves the examination of samples such as blood, urine, or tissue in laboratories and is a crucial tool in determining exposure to a substance. The historical development of toxicology has been shaped by efforts to understand the effects of toxic substances on humans and other organisms. The ancient world was a period where information about the use and effects of poisons was collected. For example, written records about the use of arsenic poison date back to around 3000 BCE in China. Ancient Roman and Greek medical scholars were knowledgeable about the toxic properties of plants and minerals. When Socrates was sentenced to death, he drank hemlock poison. During the Middle Ages, the use of poison became widespread in assassinations and warfare. The increase in poisoning cases during this period necessitated a greater understanding of the effects of poisonous substances. In the Renaissance period, advancements in science and medicine brought a more scientific approach to toxicology. The famous Paracelsus coined the principle, all substances are poisons, there is none which is not a poison. The right dose differentiates a poison from a remedy, which became one of the cornerstones of toxicology. The development of chemistry led to significant progress in toxicology. Antoine Lavoisier and other chemists advanced toxicology to a more scientific level by studying the chemical composition of poisons. Additionally, John Snow's work on a cholera outbreak in London in 1854 demonstrated the impact of toxicology on epidemiology. From the early 20th century onwards, the rapid development of the Industrial Revolution and chemical industry led to the emergence of new toxic substances. During this period, environmental toxicology gained importance, particularly with Rachel Carson's book Silent Spring. Progress in pharmacology and biochemistry also contributed to the deepening of toxicology. Today, toxicology has become a multidisciplinary science with the influence of modern technologies such as genetics, molecular biology, biotechnology, and computer modeling. Toxicologists rely on a broad knowledge base to understand various industrial, environmental, and drug-related poisonings as well as genetic and biochemical interactions. Toxicology is the scientific study of the effects of toxic substances on organisms. The basic principles of toxicology include general rules used to understand and prevent these effects. The dose-response relationship indicates that the effects of a substance on an organism depend on the dose. Often expressed as the principle of the dose makes the poison, this principle explains the relationship between the amount of substance taken or exposed to and its effects. As the dose increases, effects can change, increase, or decrease. 
Every toxic substance has a specific mechanism of action on organisms, which involves biochemical or molecular interactions at the cellular level. For instance, a substance may affect cell membranes, alter enzyme activity, or influence genetic material. Individual factors encompass characteristics that influence individuals' sensitivity to toxic substances. Factors such as age, gender, genetic predisposition, nutritional status, and health condition can affect an individual's response to a toxic substance. Toxic substances can enter the body through different routes. These routes are typically classified as ingestion, oral intake, inhalation, dermal contact, and injection. The roots of poisoning determine the bioavailability and effects of the substance. Toxic substances are usually metabolized and undergo biotransformation in the body. This process involves the conversion of toxic substances into active or less toxic metabolites, with the liver playing a significant role in this process. During toxicological risk assessments, uncertainty factors are taken into account. These factors include data gaps, individual variations, and various other factors. A safe dose includes a margin of safety against the likelihood of toxic effects occurring. The effects of toxic substances can be either short-term or long-term. Acute effects typically result from short-term exposure, while chronic effects may occur as a result of long-term exposure. Environmental toxicology is a subfield that examines the effects of toxic substances in environmental conditions on organisms. Pollution in water, air, soil, and food chains are focal points of environmental toxicology. These basic principles encompass a broad spectrum of toxicology and are used to understand, assess, and prevent the effects of toxic substances. Various chemical substances can exhibit toxic effects on organisms in different ways. For example, exposure to lead can lead to intellectual disabilities, learning disorders, nervous system damage, and effects on blood cells. Lead paint, water pipes, and lead pipes in old buildings can contribute to this condition. Exposure to mercury can cause damage to the nervous system, kidney damage, and developmental disorders in unborn children. It can be sourced from deep-sea fish, amalgam dental fillings, and industrial waste. Chemical structures such as asbestos, biphenyls, chloroform, formaldehyde, nickel, dioxins can cause many health problems such as lung cancer, respiratory problems, liver damage, reproductive system disorders, and skin rashes. The mechanisms by which poisons affect cells are diverse and vary depending on the type of poison, cell type, and chemical properties of the poison. However, generally, the effects of poisons on cells occur through one or several fundamental mechanisms. Toxins can disrupt the integrity of cells by affecting the cell membrane. They may alter the permeability of the membrane or interfere with its structure, disrupting the balance of components within the cell. This can lead to uncontrolled passage of substances both into and out of the cell. Many toxins can disrupt cellular metabolism by affecting enzymes within the cell. By inhibiting enzymes, they alter the normal course of metabolic reactions. This affects biochemical processes within the cell and disrupts its normal functions. Mitochondria are organelles responsible for energy production in cells. Toxins can disrupt mitochondrial functions, thereby affecting cellular energy production. This can lead to energy deficiencies within the cell and various cellular dysfunctions. Some toxins can damage the DNA within the cell nucleus. DNA damage can inhibit cell division, cause genetic material degradation, and potentially lead to serious health issues such as cancer. Toxins can inhibit protein synthesis processes within the cell. By affecting ribosomes or disrupting transcription and translation processes, they can prevent the production of new proteins within the cell. These mechanisms broadly explain how toxins affect cells. However, each toxin may have different cellular targets and specific interactions. Therefore, the effects of toxins on cells vary widely, and detailed laboratory studies are often required to understand these interactions. Exposure routes diversify the ways we come into contact with toxic substances. These routes determine how we are exposed to harmful substances in our environment. Let's pay attention to the air we breathe during respiration. Inhalation is the process by which toxic substances in the form of gas, vapor, or particles enter the body through breathing. Polluted air can allow chemicals from industrial processes to penetrate our bodies through the respiratory system. One of the routine activities for most of us every day is eating. 
However, sometimes oral exposure can occur through ways such as consuming pesticide residues in food or drinking contaminated water. Toxic substances ingested with food and beverages can enter the body through our digestive system. While our skin acts as a barrier against external influences, toxic substances can sometimes penetrate it. Substances that come into contact with the skin, such as cleaning products or industrial chemicals, can be absorbed through the skin into the body. Injection is a route often used in medical applications. However, associated with drug use or medical interventions, toxic substances can be injected subcutaneously into muscles or into veins. This method allows substances to enter the bloodstream more rapidly and effectively. Bioaccumulation refers to the process in which toxic substances accumulate in the body tissues of an organism. This accumulation typically begins with substances collected by the organism from other organisms in the food chain. It can alter the effects of one species on others and change their interactions with each other. High levels of bioaccumulation can reduce the population of a species or increase its competition with other species. Bioaccumulation can complicate the interactions of toxic substances that progress along the food chain. Especially at higher trophic levels, organisms experience the accumulation of toxic substances more intensively along the food chain, posing a risk particularly for carnivores and humans. Additionally, the accumulation of toxic substances in organisms can affect genetic diversity. Organisms may undergo genetic adaptations to develop resistance to toxic substances or cope better with them. Toxicology laboratory studies are research conducted to understand and evaluate the effects of various chemical, biological, or physical substances on organisms. These studies aim to determine potential risks to human health and the environment, measure toxic effects, and establish safe exposure levels. Laboratory studies typically focus on assessing the toxic effects of a specific substance or product. This substance could be a drug, chemical component, food additive, or another type of substance. The test substance is selected to identify potential toxic effects. In toxicology studies, determining exposure levels is important. This process involves examining different exposure levels ranging from low, medium, to high doses. These doses are often tested on animal models. Animal models are commonly used in toxicology laboratory studies. These models are selected to predict the responses of the human body due to their genetic and biological similarities. Animals of different species are used to assess toxic effects resulting from exposure. The test substance is administered to animals through different exposure routes. These exposure routes are simulated to understand how the substance behaves within the organism and what effects it produces. After animals are exposed, observations are made in laboratory studies, and various parameters are measured to collect data. These parameters may include organ weights, biochemical markers, genetic effects, and histopathological analyses. The data obtained is used for risk assessment. This stage evaluates the relationship between exposure levels and toxic effects and determines potential risks. The results of laboratory studies are typically compiled into a report and shared with the scientific community, regulators, and industry. This serves the purpose of informing the scientific community and the public. The effects of toxic substances on the endocrine system can disrupt hormonal balance by interfering with the production, release, transport, or reception of hormones. Such toxic effects can lead to various problems in the endocrine system and are often referred to as endocrine disruptors. Some toxic substances can mimic hormonal signaling by behaving similarly to natural hormones in the body. These substances can block hormone receptors or send incorrect signals to cells by mimicking the structure of hormones, leading to hormonal disruptions. Certain toxic substances, particularly industrial chemicals, certain components found in plastics or pesticides, can exhibit estrogen-like effects or interfere with the normal function of estrogen. This can disrupt hormonal balance and affect reproductive health and the functioning of the endocrine system. Others may affect the production or release of thyroid hormones, which can have significant effects on metabolism, growth, and energy regulation. Sensitivity to toxic effects on the endocrine system may vary among individuals. Genetic factors can influence individuals' responses to specific toxic substances. Food safety and toxicology encompass two important concepts related to understanding, assessing, and controlling the potential risks of consumed foods on human health. Food additives are substances used to enhance the color, flavor, texture, or shelf life of foods. 
The safety of these substances is evaluated through toxicological research. Additionally, food contaminants, such as pesticide residues and heavy metals, undergo toxicological assessment. The safety of genetically modified organisms and biotechnology-derived foods is evaluated through toxicology studies. Such studies aim to understand the potential effects of genetic changes on human health. The safety of chemical substances used in food processing and packaging is evaluated from a toxicological perspective. The substances contained in food packaging materials are examined for possible migrations onto foods and potential toxic effects. Sudden food poisonings or emergencies associated with food involve interventions by toxicology experts. These situations involve public health issues caused by toxic substances from specific food products. Toxic food substances are substances that pose potential health risks to consumers. These substances can originate from food production or occur naturally in the environment. Bacterial contamination in foods can cause food poisoning. For example, salmonella and coliform bacteria can be present in foods due to poor hygiene conditions or bacterial contamination in meat and dairy products. Some fungi may contain toxic substances naturally and can cause serious poisoning when consumed. For instance, the Ammonita phylloides mushroom contains a deadly toxin that can cause liver failure. Chemical substances such as agricultural pesticides, insecticides, and herbicides can leave residues in foods and cause toxic effects when consumed. For example, certain pesticide residues may be found in fruits and vegetables. Aflatoxin is a type of toxin produced by mold fungi. It can be found especially in nuts, peanuts, corn, and grains. Aflatoxin consumption can lead to liver damage and have carcinogenic effects. Histamine naturally present in fish can increase under poor storage conditions and cause scombroid poisoning when consumed. This condition can lead to symptoms such as headaches, nausea, and flushing. Clostridium botulinum bacterium can produce botulinum toxin, which can be found in canned or spoiled foods. When consumed, this toxin can cause serious damage to the nervous system and death. These examples demonstrate that toxic substances found in foods from various sources can harm human health. Food safety measures and regulations are implemented to minimize the consumption of such toxic substances and protect human health. Toxicology plays a critical role, especially in the evaluation of the safety and toxic effects of new drugs in the drug development process. The drug development process consists of preclinical and clinical stages. The preclinical stage involves testing the drug in laboratory settings and animal models. During this process, toxicology evaluates the safety and toxic potential of the drug to determine whether it is safe for use in humans. It assesses how tolerable drug candidates are at defined dose levels and identifies any side effects of the drugs, understanding their dose-response relationships. Evaluating the effects of drugs on specific organs or systems, especially on organs like the liver, kidneys, heart, and nervous system, is crucial. Some drugs may interact with foods when taken together or with the interaction of foods, which is considered in toxicology studies. The absorption, distribution, and metabolism of drugs in the presence of food effects are investigated. Toxicology is extensively applied to ensure the reliability of the drug development process and minimize potential toxic risks. These evaluations help create a comprehensive data set before the drug advances to the clinical stage. Don't forget to subscribe for brand new documentaries and more scientific content.